little Bo Cephas, you're the one that makes me feel good inside. Just to know that you're my son makes my heart swell with pride. I've always needed one like you to love and understand. And now that you've come to fill that place, you're my buddy, man to man. Oh, Sonny boy, so many things a youngster needs to know if he is to find true happiness as down through life he goes. It's just a father's love, I guess, that comes to every dad that makes me want to shelter you from the things that make you sad. Bo Sevis, boy, I'm standing by to help you when you call. For son, you are my flesh and blood and the grandest pal of all. Hank, you want to hear that one more time? No, let's do it. Okay. Lisa, I want you out of there. Oh, she's all right, Mama. Let her stay. Hank, I want her out. Come here. Your mama's watching. Good. I love you. Hey, Junior. You just try to stay level with your daddy. Don't try to overpower the recording. All right. It's all right. John will keep him level. There's no problem. Hank, let's lay one down. Okay. Dave, a little track. You're cheating hard. Sleep won't come the whole night through. Your cheating heart will tell on you. When tears come down like falling rain. You know something? I wouldn't be surprised if she digs up Hack Senior's coffin and puts it on tour with the kid. <laughs>
Bobby Dean, I feel like you've been falling down on our press relations. Very important for Hank Jr.'s career that he gets the right kind of publicity. Now, I want you to thank you, Eddie. I want you to set up a series of press conferences. Of course, Audrey. I'll try as soon as we get into town. Seems to me a good manager doesn't just try. He delivers. Hank Sr. never had any trouble getting to the press. Yes, ma'am. She sure is something, your mom. <laughs> oh, yeah, the big A. <laughs> if she ever went after me, I'd be gone. No way, Merle. Your family. Yeah, that's the way I'd like to keep it. <laughs> hey, listen, I want you to listen to something. I want to know what you think about these words. I know that I'm not great. Some folks say that I just imitate. That's yours? Anymore, I don't know. I'm just doing the best that I can. Hey, that's pretty good. Well, it's hard when you're standing in the I shadow. Uh, Merle. Miss Audrey? Uh, excuse me, I think I'll get a beer. Honey, look here. I got a little surprise for you. This was your daddy's. I tried on. It won't fit. I bet it will. All right. I feel funny in it, Mama. Hi. Your daddy loved this jacket. Mom, I'm already singing the music. I'm doing the act. I have to be wearing the clothes, too. Darling, it's part of the act. Your daddy'd be so proud. You grew into it already. I want you to wear this in Memphis. Yeah, uh, listen, how about I play you something I wrote? I was playing it from Earl when you came in. It's a new song. Uh, Hank, baby, Standing. I know that you've been writing some, and I think you should. Uh, but you got to remember not to let it get in the way of the show. I just don't want you to set yourself up for disappointment. You know as well as I do what songs they want to hear. Mama, I know every piece of music my daddy ever wrote. And that's what's important. His music's still living on. And it always will, because he was the best. And people knew it. And darling, when I hear you doing his music, it keeps him close to me. And that helps, too. I had the greatest country singer ever lived, and he died untimely. Now I got you. You're all I need, honey. You're gonna love that jacket. Hank, you are not Jerry Lee Lewis. You remember how those people in Fayetteville reacted when you tried to turn your daddy's music into that ridiculous rock and roll? Oh, Mom, that wasn't rock and roll. I was just trying to put a little life into it. Your daddy's music doesn't need any help. Well, how about I do one of my own songs? Hank, I don't want to talk about it. Bobby Dean, is that reporter here? You said he'd interview Hank before the show. He'll be here, Audrey. Come on, Hank, they're about ready. Well, he's never going to make the deadline for an AM paper. I don't know what he's thinking about. I'm sure he may be even backstage now. By the way, I want another look at those promos they're giving Hank Jr. Got them right here, Audrey. We have to start getting guarantees on backup musicians. Right. You hear me, Bobby Dean? Yes, ma'am. Hank, Bobby Dean and I are working to make you a star. I want you to take an intelligent interest. Hank Jr., one minute. Gotta go, Mama. He's just a kid, Audrey. He doesn't give a spit about contracts. When I married his daddy, Hank Williams was nobody and nothing. I made him into the greatest country star ever. And I'm gonna do it for Hank Jr. too. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Eddie. Here we go. Now that is something. That sure is. Okay, Hoss, I hope you're ready, because I'm bringing you out. You know I am. How's the house, Eddie? Packed. Hey, wake you? We'll be when you get out there, Hankus. All right. And now, the Memphis C&W Society is privileged to have with us tonight 
the living reincarnation of that all-time legend, Hank Williams. A nice welcome, please, for his only son, Hank Williams, Jr. <laughs> Johnson, he is with the morning exam. Well, hello, Mr. Johnson. Hank is certainly looking forward to your visit. Redhead that was here. Come on, Hank, you got a date. What? Oh, no, I can't. Audrey's got an interview set up for me. Oh, you're gonna get interviewed, okay? Let's go. Hey, what's going on, guys? Betty down here says she wants to meet the star of the show. Yeah, I tried to tell her she's just wasting her time on a kid like you, and there's men around like yours, truly. Ah, yes, but the lady has stars in her I'm not house. so sure it's such a good idea, fellas. Audrey's got that reporter. She wants me to talk to him. I it's, think I... It's now or never, boy. Now, how are you going to lead a band if you got no track with the ladies? It's now or never, little brother. You'll do just fine. You, got, you guys are pulling my leg, right? Right? Hank in there? Uh, no. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, no, he's not. Merle Kilgore, you put me down this minute. You boys won't keep your job. You better put me down. Hi. Hi. I sure did love that show. Well, thank you. You are something special. Would you like me to uh, get you a soda or so I could... Uh... No, thank you. I don't drink. I don't even smoke. Good. But I sure do go for you. Well, You're thank you. You're something very special. Thank you very much. And I don't want you to go getting the notion that I do this with just anybody. Oh, of course. Of course not. I, I... 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that. You know you missed an interview. Bobby Dean had that reporter here to see you. I don't know what you're thinking about. Daddy always tell you what he was thinking? You are not your daddy. Well, I'm glad you finally noticed that, Mama. Don't you smart aleck me. If those people love you, it's because of your daddy. Yeah, well, it's just possible some of them like me because of who I am. I can think of one in particular. What do you think? I don't think your mama likes me very much. Shoot, it don't make no difference what she likes. I like you. That's what counts. Come here. <laughs> Hank, you know we said. Yeah, I know you said. I guess you're still saying it, aren't you? I know what you want, hon. I can't. You want to make me happy, don't you? You know I do. I just want to be someone special. You are special, Lisa. Mean it? Of course I mean it. I love you. Love you too, baby. <clears throat> We're so right for each other. You know, I've been thinking a lot lately about, you know, maybe someday, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've been thinking about it, too. You have? You know I have. But what would your mama say? <laughs> my mama may want to be the only woman in my life, but one of these days, she is just going to have to move it on over. Oh, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're not fooling me. I know you don't care anything about that girl. You're just using her as an excuse to get out of this house. Hank, are you listening to me? I am. You want to hear what Lisa's mama had to say about us getting engaged? I do not. I do not give one sweet damn about her. I'm talking about me. And you. I'm leaving. You can't get away from your obligations that easy. You still got the name you were born with. You're never going to get rid of that. Tell him, Bobby Dean. So you can't use your daddy's music anymore. Audrey, you do not have that legal power. I've told you that. You fixing to keep on managing him? It's been a pretty successful relationship up to now. Why end it? I mean, you're not going to stop touring, are you, Hank? I'm a musician. What else am I going to do? Ha! Musician! I've listened to it. His songs, his lyrics. You just change them around a little. I'm sorry you feel that way, Mama. I'd appreciate your staying on as manager, Bobby Dean. I'd be happy to, Hank. Come on, darling, give me a hand with this, will you? Sorry, Miss Williams. You little piece of yard goods. Come on, baby. You really think you're gonna make it on the road by yourself? I'm gonna try. Bye, Mama. Hey, JR. Where you been, boy? I thought we were going fishing this morning. What are you talking about fishing? But you got nothing to say about these wheels? Kind of subtle. See, Hayden Lowry gets a couple of coffee. What you doing, Hank? You're toning down your life a little bit, are you? I'm going to give it to Lisa for a wedding present. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> <laughs>
Come on, get us a couple of cold drinks, would you? So what's the deal? You, you two ever get around to setting a date for that thing, or what? Well, we're just going to have to put it off a little bit longer. Because the good news is Bobby Dean's got me booked for a big new tour. Yeah. Boy, it better be a big one. You can figure on paying with this land yacht. No problem. So what does little Miss Lisa think about all this? Oh, shoot. She and her mama are so busy planning the big event, they don't know if I'm in town or out. Hey, JR, come go on the road with us. Oh, no. Oh, come on, come on, we'll have a good time. That road ain't no good for me, boy. Uh, I'll tell you what, you want to spend time with me, you come on down to Bimini. Come on, JR, I'm not like you, you know that. I got to earn my living. Oh, get out of here. We can catch some fish. You, uh, talk with your mama lately? No, and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go on tour. I'm gonna sing my music. And when I get back home, I'm gonna get myself hitched. Well, that sounds like a pretty good plan. When you all leaving? Tonight, going to Gatlinburg. All right, buddy boy. If you need anything, you give me a holler. You know I will. Yeah. You keep on selling those trucks. And don't hit them on the way out of my land. Oh, come on. You can handle a lot. Get out of here. Hey. Waco's tomorrow with the fair over the weekend. I sure miss you. Yeah, I miss you too, baby, but uh, I'm gonna have to go now. I wish you were here to help me decide on the china. There are three patterns I just love. They're just so hard to decide. You remember the one with the red band around the edge and the monogram in the middle? It goes so great with Mother's tablecloth, but the off-white plates with the gold filigree sure do look pretty with the silver Darling, one. Darling, I gotta go now. Merle's doing the introduction, all right? I love you. I'll see you. Do I hear a party going on? Hey, we'll see us. Come on in, man, and chow down. I believe I will. Leave one on me, Eddie. Why not? Mickey? Mind if I bring in some friends? Well, hello, ladies. Please come in. Uh-oh, look who's here. The star of our show, a legend in his own mind, the one, the only, Hank Williams, Jr. <laughs> well, I saw you in the show tonight. You were real exciting. Honey, babe, so are you. Time. I love to hear an old train rolling down the line. I am in the happy and I don't like sad. I like to have women I've never had. I take a little smoke and a lot of wine I get high and call old friends of mine I like the sweet young 
I'm coming. Hello? Hello, is this Hank Williams, Jr.? No, I'm not too sure about that, but I think so. Well, you don't know me, but my name is June. June Bradshaw, and I'm calling from Antlers, Oklahoma. You're calling from where? Oklahoma. What I'm calling you about, well, I'm kind of embarrassed to tell you now. Oh, come on, you can tell me, June. Well, I made this bet with my girlfriend that I could get a call through you, and I just won. And now that I talk to you, I think I'd like to meet you very much. I see. Well, uh, why don't you just tell me a little bit about yourself, Jenny? I'm 19. I'm a model and an actress. And some people have even said that I was beautiful. Oh, they're right. Well, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be in Little Rock on Friday. I'll be there. And don't you worry, Hank. I'll find you. Well, good. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, we open with cold, cold heart, then do move it on over. I want to make a change, Dennis. I want to open up with Cajun Baby. That thing you've been working on? I think we only rehearsed it a couple of times. Tonight we're going to play it on stage. Nobody's ever heard of it. Yeah, nobody ever will unless we start playing it like now. No way. Bobby Dean okayed this program. Bobby Dean ain't out there singing the song, man. I am, and I say we're going to do Cajun Baby. Bobby Dean signs a check tank. He says we do your daddy's song. We do. Now give a big welcome to a man who carries one of the greatest names in country music, Hank Williams, Jr. It's my band, Dennis. Thank you, bro. How you all doing tonight? Hey, get down. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Good, folks. Well, thank you all for coming out. We're going to sing some of your favorite songs tonight. But first up, I'd like to do a little something I wrote myself called Cajun Baby. My daddy wrote the words, and I wrote the music. Dennis? It's your band. Let's do it. Billy! Way down yonder in the bio country in dear old Louisiana That's where lives my Cajun baby, the first one in the land Her teeth are white and pearly, high black as coal Wouldn't trade my Cajun baby for the world's gold Way down the bio country in dear old Louisiana. My heart's been sad and lonely since the day I left her side. But today I got her letter, said she'd be my Cajun bride. Gonna go and wed my Cajun baby and live by the old bio. Eat a lot of shrimp and crawfish Ride around in my old P.R.O. Way down yonder in the bio country In dear old Louisiana That's where lives my Cajun baby The first one in the land Her teeth are white and pearly Hair black as coal Wouldn't trade my Cajun baby For the world's gold Way down yonder in the bio country in dear old Louisiana. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, how about a little cold, cold heart? Yeah, I thought you'd like that one. All right, fellas, a little cold, cold heart for the first. You're my every dream Yet you're afraid Each thing I do Is just some evil scheme A memory from your lonesome past Keeps us so far apart Why can't I free your doubtful mind And melt your cold Bunch, and I 
Fischer. Thank you, Eddie. I sure did. I loved it. Well, I'm glad you came. Here you go, Hi, Hank. Uh, I'm June. <laughs> well, hello. Hi. I can't believe I am standing on the same stage with Hank Williams, Jr. You were so good. Not too sure what anybody else thought. They liked it fine. And I thought your song was great. Well, it wasn't great enough, was it? You know, they say that Hank Williams could take 5,000 people and just put them right, right in the palm of his hand. Give them just what they wanted. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> he used to come on and he used to say, well, howdy, folks. How you all doing tonight? I'm feeling a little rough myself. And my love life isn't what it's supposed to be, and I reckon you're all about the same. And he just cut into something like cold, cold heart. What they gonna do? They just went crazy. I, I heard all about your father, Hank, but I never really saw him. <laughs> well, I didn't either. I mean, I was three years old when he died. It's about the only thing I can remember is uh, he used to do a radio show and I was about that big. And every time he'd finish up, he'd say, well, I'm coming on home, Bocephus. That's what he used to call me. It's little Bocephus. But uh, mostly what I know about him is what I've heard from other people. I got to be going. <laughs> I haven't even showed you the bus yet. Not want to. Have to. All right. There's always women. But you are something extra special. I'm not a road woman, Hank. I want to see you again. You will. Lisa called, what you call her? I heard you had something to say to me, Dennis. Not really, Hank. Not after the way your uh, composition sounded tonight. I imagine you got the message. But Bobby Dean's gonna be talking to you anyway, boy, straighten you right out. Well, then maybe I ought to talk to Bobby Dean. So we're heading for Nashville. Eddie, get the bus warmed up. No, stay put, Eddie. Junior here is just having himself a little temper tantrum. I'll drive it. Bus is leaving in five minutes, boys. You get on it. Get to Nashville by yourselves. Come on, Merle. Hey, Merle, how are we going to get out of here? I ain't got any keys. Leave it to a hot wire, Kilgore. I showed the advantages of a misfit use. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
mind you of one boring day. I gotta see a man about a dog. Hey, what you mean leaving us like that? Junior out, I'll whip your butt. Hmm. Stoned at the jukebox. Well, we sure have been there. Come on, man. Settle down, man. Dennis, I want you to get whatever you got on my bus off my bus. Because you're fired. I'll go inside and put something on. We got to talk. Yeah. What's going on? I guess you can see what's going on. Come on. Don't you think I've known about her? Who told you? What you gonna do? Shoot him? We're supposed to be getting married. Don't you want that? Family? Nice house? Playhouse. What? It'd be nothing but a playhouse. You'd be home... Playing of being a wife, I'd be out on the road half the time. You need someone to make you a home. Let me tell you something, darling. My home is a tour bus in a motel room. And anything else that might happen to go along with it. You need something real in your life, Hank. The road's not real. It's pretty real to me, baby. It's where I make my living. You know, if you don't understand it, you don't have to be a part of it. I'll see. Hey, Lisa. Lisa. I, I, 
I can't be tied down right now. I got a lot of growing up to do. You're not growing up. You're just growing mean. And I don't want to be around it. Come on, Nicky. Come on, Nicky. Do it. Nicky, do it. a toast to the newest member, and I might add the prettiest member, of the uh, Hank Williams Jr. traveling entourage. <laughs> oh, I hadn't had this much fun since my fifth wedding. Oh, I haven't had this much fun in my whole life. Well, you think this is fun, darling. Let me show you what goes on the back of this bus, all right? Come on. Now, I want you fellas to feel free to make all the noise you like, all right? <laughs> The parents one in the land Her teeth are white and pearly hair But like it's cold I wouldn't trade my Cajun baby For the world's gold Way down yonder in the bio country In dear old Louisiana Just a minute. First, I want to introduce you to my Cajun baby, my new bride, June Williams. Come on out here, boys. Say hello to these good folks. I do. I'm June. I'm proud to meet each and every one of you. Oh, that's great, baby. Boy, I'm so lonesome I could cry. Yeah, well, believe me, I was too, buddy, till I met this lovely little gal. Now I'm doing just fine. All right, folks, let's give them what they want to hear, all right? Let's go honk it, Tom. <laughs> Bring along some dough We go honky-tonkin', 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 honey, baby We'll go honky-tonkin' around this town Okay. Get you anything more? Yeah, get me a beer. Okay. What's the matter, babe? I don't know. I guess I just get tired of making love with... 65 miles an hour. <laughs> I thought you went for this life in the fast lane. I do. I did. You're kind of tired of having to walk past the whole band on the way to my bedroom. <laughs> I told you once before, I'm not a road woman, Hank. I know that, darling. And I'll tell you what. I think when we get back to Nashville, we ought to start doing a little bit of nest building. You know? Think about buying us a little place of our own. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? It's a palace. You bet it's a palace, and it's your palace. Come on, I want to show you around. Huge. <laughs> you think the first floor is something? Just wait till you see the gun room. I bet. Oh, don't worry about it. It's going to be in the basement. But the nursery is going to be right across from the master suite. Nursery? You bet. You pregnant? Oh, no, but I wouldn't mind working on it. <laughs> Come on, darling. Hank, a new house is a mighty big responsibility. Don't you think we ought to take it one step at a time? Well, I think we ought to. It's step mm -hmm. one coming up right now. <laughs> I wish you'd tell him, JR. Bobby Dean's right. Most people just don't want to hear his music. Well, I didn't come down here to talk business, Jenny. <laughs> but you're his friend. Yeah, I'm his friend. I don't care whose music he plays. All right, here we go. I do not know how anybody could drink a blue drink. 
That's good. You want to try one? Not this cowboy. JR and I were just talking about the tour. I told him the gate receipts were still slipping. I thought we'd come here and have a good time. Here you are sounding just like Audrey Williams. From what I understand, when your mama was running the tour, you were making a lot more money. Oh, come on, now, Junior, money, money ain't everything, is it? <laughs> it's sure easy for you to say, JR. You got more money than God. Now, wait a minute, is that all you care about? How much money I make? Of course not. But I don't see what's wrong with doing what's successful. You know what works, Hank? I just don't see why you want to fight it. Hank, you know what? You ain't got your audience trained right. What you ought to do is cut yourself a record with your own music, get that sucker right on the air, and those people are lined up for a block to hear you play live in a concert. Now, that is a good idea. Uh -huh. JR, you ought to be my manager. You oh, know more about no, my business no, than no, I do. No, no, hey, boss, I only get to go fishing four days a week, as it is. <laughs> I ain't taking on any more responsibility from here and nobody. And I ain't drinking any more tonight. And I know I ain't paying this check. You pay it, hot shot. I'm heading home. Hi, JR. Hi, JR. You know, next time you decide to have a discussion about my career, let's say you let me in on it, all right? Sorry, darling. I, I just thought you'd want me to take an interest. Well, I'm just thinking about what's best for you. Come on. Let's go home. We can talk better there. You would not believe the good luck I had today. Anything left in the store? A little. Thought you were going to do that downstairs. No, I ain't hurting nothing. Like it? You going to the rodeo? Not tonight. Bobby Dean, make the arrangements. June, I already told you I don't want to go tonight. I got this. Special to wear. You like it? I was brought up going to country music award dinners. My mama dragged me every year of my life, and I figure I'd done my time on that. Oh, Hank, we haven't been for the last two years. It's an occasion. I want to go. Well, I don't, and I'm not. Big grins and cute deals and... Whose record's doing what, and what's the ticket count on your last tour, and I am not interested. You think I don't know why you don't want to go to dinner tonight? Because your mama's going to be there, and she's going to make sure that your daddy's name is mentioned. I mean, revered. That just calls you no end, don't it? Well, that's nice. That's real nice. I'm sorry. and stay home with me. Baby, I'm out all the time. It seems like I am home all the time. There's nothing wrong with home. Oh, that's easy for you to say. But I'll tell you the truth, Hank, it's getting a little boring for me. Well, you certainly seem to keep yourself pretty well occupied spending my money on all them fancy clothes and all that stuff. What is the use of buying clothes if I have no place to wear them to? I promised I was gonna be there, Hank. It's a party. And I want to socialize. I'm going. Great, fine. But you're going alone. All right. Oh, no! 
God, I love it when you do that. Except the cutest little pink guy I ever saw. Let me have a little. Yeah, that ain't seen seven. I love it so much. Thank you. You star and something else. Well, hey, baby, how you doing? Why don't you just uh, go on there and keep working on it, all right? Bye, Hank. We're having a little party. So I see. <laughs> hey, you come on in here. I want to play something we've been working on. Come on. Come on, you'll love this. You're going to love it. Hey, fellas, let's do that honky tonk and number. Yeah, let's do it. Come on, I'm going to play this for my wife. Get right over here, Don. I want to sing for you. Yeah. One, two, three, woo! Oh, I like the way that sounds. Nobody wants to hear your version. Don't you ever touch me again. Well, uh, personally, I kind of think she was overdressed for the occasion myself, don't you? <laughs> Where's my drink? Somebody stole my damn drink. Oh, there you are, you little sucker. I thought somebody ran off with you. Hey, Mickey, we was having a party. Was we having a party here? Come on, Mickey, hit them drums. You got it. Let's go, man. Merle, Merle, play that thing. I want to hear that music going. Brothers, time for us to go to work. <laughs> oh, no way, Merle. I ain't going to do that show today. <laughs> hey, Merle. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ow. Ow. Hey, Merle, you remember that red-headed bum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know about that. I remember that. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
Ow. Is that why you want me out there, Merle? Because your living depends on it. If that's what you think, little brother, you go right ahead and think. All right? Well, Merle, I just hate doing shows in Nashville. They don't like me, and I don't like them. Is anybody out there? Well, let's go honky-tonkin', boys. Come on. Jimmy! If you are sad and lonely, sorry, got no place to go. A man see me, baby, bring along the go, go. Honky talking, honky talking, honky talking, honky baby. We'll go honky talking round the town. It's me. Come on, man. I know you in there. Open this door. Hank. Hank. How many did you do? <coughs> How many did you take? I'm afraid, man, this is out of my league. What happened? Uh, Get the car. We're going to the hospital. Uh, oh, no way am I in love with that stomach pump. Well, let me tell you something, Rosephus. You've done some mighty fine imitations of your daddy, but this is the best and most stupid one yet. You keep it up, I can get you buried right beside it. All right, JR. On the other hand, the suicide stuff might not be such a bad idea. Can you imagine how miserable Junie'd be trying to figure out how to spend all your money? You're a regular laugh riot today, you know that? I ain't trying to be, son. Dr. Malthus, Dr. Malthus. Oh, hey, Hank. Hey, there's a guy over here. He says he wants to talk to you. No, no, I, I told him he can't. Can. Can. It's, it's a gift, Mr. Mr. Williams. You are now officially divorced. Nurse Carson, Nurse Carson. It's legal, Hank. You son of a bitch! Hank! 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 Hey, come on! Cut it out! Are you crazy? On, Hank! Oh. I'll kill you, you weasel! No, you're not, Mr. Williams. But I am gonna sue you for every dime you've got. Well, you stay there, Hank. I'll talk to the guy. Hank! That was just plain stupid! Fine, yeah. man. Yeah, you fix it. Fix it. I can't fix it. And if I could, I wouldn't. You're messing up your life, boy. I know you've been drinking, you've been popping. I don't know what all. But you better snap out of it or you're going to be in deep trouble. I am already in deep trouble, Bobby Dean. And you're not doing one damn thing to help me about it. Come on, man. Let's face it. You don't care spit about my health. You care about commissions. And you care about play dates. And you're fired. I want you to haul your polyester butt out of here. I'll fix it. Sure you will. With more drinks and more pills. If you keep at it, you will kill yourself. Yeah, we're going to pay old Bobby Dean the balance of his contract, but I believe we can get that other old boy to settle out of court. I hope so. You know, most of your problems center around one thing, Hank. Money. <laughs> yeah, of course they do. How'd you like to be paying for that mansion on the hill she's living in? I've been sending the checks. Yeah, you have. A bit late and a mite short. But 
we can work that out. You know, we can work it all out if you just get off your duff and start managing this program. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll take it on. All right. But just till you get halfway straightened out. Well, let's hope that time never comes. No, I don't want any whiskey. Listen, hey, if I'm gonna be the honcho around here, you gotta do me a favor. You gotta take some time off right now. I can't afford to, JR. You can't afford not to, son. I can't have you out on that road living on whiskey and pills and eating your own guts out. For me, you gotta take some time off. I'll make a deal with you. I'll take some time off, go up to Montana. You set up a recording session. I wanna lay down some of my own stuff. Some of your own music? Right. You got it. You go call Dick Willie today. I'm gonna call the studio right now. Uh, not Nashville. I want to work back home in Alabama. You said something up in Muscle Shoals. JR, I got those Dixon invoices. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right, Becky. Come on in. You know Hank Williams. Pleasure, Mr. Williams. Uh, you call me Hank, you hear? Right there. All right. First thing I'm going to do is set up a recording session. Then I'm going to get down to the real grit and grime with old Junie's lawyer next week. Uh, J.R., J.R., you think you ought to be talking about my domestic difficulties in front of this young lady here? Uh, Becky's typed every letter I ever sent to you. Oh, well, I guess you know more about me than I do. Your life's none of my business outside the office, Mr. Williams. Hank, I told you. you say it nice, I just might take you out to dinner tonight. You or me, would you go out with you? Hank. I want to see Mr. Smith. Oh, hey, Listen, I've been waiting for three months for this uh, truck, and I got to get back uh, on the road. Well, let me take you and the you got some kind of contempt for me. You know all about me, right? I've been married, divorced, I drink some, raised cane. I'm a genuine degenerate, right? I'm not making any judgments. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> all right. Maybe I am. You know so much about me. You got to know I'm about flat broke. The least you can do is take me out to dinner. <laughs> no, I mean it. I mean it. I'm good company. I, I don't eat much. <laughs> Maybe you're just afraid to be seen out on the town with a divorced outlaw singer. I'm certainly not afraid of you, Mr. Williams. Hank. <laughs> Hank. All right, Hank. I'll take you out to dinner. Uh, well, the walls come tumbling down. I'll pick you up at eight. You're kidding. Me. No, I'm not. I just, I never listen to much country music. <laughs> well, you don't have to listen to much country music to hear my old man's songs. That sucker casts a long shadow. I'm the living proof of that. You got a real problem with that, don't you? You know, there's lots worse things than being the rich son of a famous father. What are you talking about? Things are tough all over, Hank. You think some dirt poor son of a coal miner is going to feel sorry for somebody in your situation? I don't expect anyone to feel sorry for me. Then you ought to stop feeling sorry for yourself. You know, when I want advice, I call a shrink. And when I want a woman, I call room service. How come you don't just drop all that cowboy bravado? What would you say if I asked you to come and meet in New Orleans for the weekend? I would say no. Well, what would you say if I just plain asked you to go to bed with me? I'd say no again. Oh, well, my reputation do precede me, don't it? Well, that's not it. I just don't want to get involved right now. Oh, I smell a tall, dark stranger coming on. Nope. Going away. We're talking heartbreak. Well, heart bend anyway. I know. It hurts, don't it? I'll tell you one thing. 
I don't know what happened between you two, but as far as I'm concerned, he made a big mistake. Thanks. What was his problem, anyway? Tell me about your wife. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Change the subject. I'll tell you what, let's go dancing. I can't. I gotta get work early in the morning. Yeah, I figured that. All right, well, we better just get you home then. I bet you ain't even gonna let me kiss you goodnight. That's right. Good hug? No. You gonna let me walk you to the door? You darn sure better. Yeah, I'll tell you what, next time I think I better take you to dinner. <laughs> See, we're just gonna have to get you acquainted with some real country music. I guess so. Oh, this is it, huh? Yeah. It's been great. Yeah, it has. I thought you said we weren't gonna do that. We're not. Good night. Change and I hope this music will show a little bit less of crying in the beer and a little of my own soul. Wailing and toying all them boys, I wanna say thanks to you. You fiddle and you still make me play what I feel, and I don't feel love sick and blues, and I'm feeling better now that I'm back on the road, getting it to get. Between making and muscle shows, all can do together. Yeah, In my sweet Alabama home, and I'm through for ever. I'm trying to put everybody on. I'm feeling better now that I'm back on the road, getting it together. Between making and muscle shows, all. <laughs> got yourself an album. You mean we got ourselves an album. What are you going to call it, Art Shop? Well, look around this room, JR. What else am I going to call it? Hank Williams Jr. and friends. All right. All right. All right. Well, I think that calls for no champagne. So, yeah. too, Mickey. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got just what the doctor ordered. Hank, I thought that was really special. What do you say we go somewhere and celebrate, all right? All right. What are you doing? Man's been dead 23 years. That song is still a hit. Hey, I thought you said you didn't listen to Hank Williams' music. I didn't before I met you. You want to know something, Becky? I really am Hank Williams' little boy. You're not a little boy, Hank, even if you do act like it sometimes. I was at that session. Your music is good. Everybody there thinks so. I agree with him. Then what are you afraid of? Falling on my butt. Ever since I was eight years old, I've had a gimmick to go out on stage with. People adore me for it. Now I'm trying to change it around. I don't know if they're going to want to see me anymore. I'm... scared. If this is what you want, you got to give it time. Some things take a lot of time. Right now, you got to take time off for a while. Get away. Now I've met you, I'm not so sure I want to go. You go. I'll be here when you get back.
sure you remember how to do this, Hank? Yeah, well, if we get out there in the middle of thin air, we'll find out, won't we? You all right, Walt? Yeah, I'm locked in. You okay, Hank? You bet. All right, Nashville. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> John Denver ain't even been up this high. Come on, boy, slow up. I'm a singer, not a mountain goat. The last thing I've crawled up lately is a bar stool. Hank, you like it up here so much. Watch read a song about it. Well, maybe I will, Walt. You boys start treating me a little better, I just might put you in it. Mm, that'd be great. I'd love to hear my name on the radio. <laughs> I'd love to hear one of my songs on the radio. Well, from the sound of that new tape of yours, Hank, probably be hearing a lot of them. So. Just like your daddy. No way, Walt. This one's pure Hank Jr. I wish that little old gal was up here with me. I sure hope you got yourself a good one this time. She's the best. We're both getting over some bad times, so we ain't rushing into anything, but uh, she sure is different, Dick. That's no lie. Hey, come on, you boys are starting to dog it again. Let's go! Yes, sirree, Becky Haynes! I'm gonna make her mine! Oh! Hank! Oh! Hank, stay there. Stay down. We're gonna get you a line now. Damn, I hurt my face. Stay down. Don't move! You listening to me? I can't see. Don't move! Hank! I got it! No! Oh! oh, my God. All right, tie off. We gotta get down to it. Stay here with him. I can't. Walt, don't let him move. And don't let him go to sleep. Just talk to him, son. Just talk to him. Hank. It's Walt. Fractured femur, fractured ribs, extensive laceration. We've got some brain exposed there. Give me a cross match on that blood. The plasma's already hung and his BP's going up. Facial, real. You've been hurt very badly, Mr. Williams. I'm gonna take you up to surgery now. I'm gonna sedate you. Let's get him upstairs. The only reason he's alive is that the face, forehead, Nose and mouth, cushion the brain. But there has been a great deal of damage. Exactly what does that mean? His face has been destroyed. Dr. Rainey, who assisted, is an excellent plastic surgeon. However, it'll be some time before we know how he looks. Is it just that, Doc? I mean, just his looks? Is that what you mean? No. There's substantial danger of infection to the brain. And if that happens? His chances be mighty slim, Miss Wedding. By God, that better not happen. Hank, how you doing? Still here. 
You having trouble sleeping? Will you need something for pain? Uh-uh. I'm going to give you the call button. If you need me, you just buzz, OK? Good night. And this one is from Waylon and Jesse. And you wouldn't believe all the stuff people are sending to the house. I'm worn out from writing thank you notes. Becky wants to come up here, Hank. I'm going to give her some time off. It's OK with you. Uh-uh, I don't want to see her. Well, she's going to be mighty disappointed. I'm telling you, tell her no. I'm not ready to see her yet. Hi, folks. Well, excuse us a minute. I got to practice a little medicine here. I'll be fine, honey. Why not you go down to the cafeteria? Well, how you feeling? Pretty good. Good, good. You ready? I guess I'm as ready as I'll ever be. OK. <clears throat> now, there's going to be some swelling, a lot of discoloration, still a whole lot of healing to be done yet. Swollen, like I said. Okay. Oh God, cover it up. Come on, cover it up. I'm telling you, get get out of here. Get out of here. Don't you let those people back in here. Don't you? I don't want to see anybody. Don't you let them in here. All right. All right for now, Hank. But you will have to start seeing people again, and we ought to start thinking about your future. What future? As soon as your bones heal, I'm going to put you in some good physical therapy. It may not seem like it now, but you're lucky to be alive. Oh, God. <laughs> OK, Hank, let's see how many repetitions we can make today. How am I doing? <clears throat> a lot of muscle trauma in there and some nerve damage. But you're doing great. That's good. One more time. Better than yesterday, huh? That's right. You bet. That's good. Oh, you getting better? Hey, Hank. I have a present for you from your friend, Mr. Kilgore. What is that? He says he's bored and it's time to get you guys back on the road. So start playing this thing. Or you just give it back to him. Well, he's already gone. Now, you hold that the thing. minute. You I give me that thing. Come back yeah, I want it. Hank. Can you give me that? This could be the best thing for you. Just try it. Hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Hello? Hey, it's Becky. Hey? Yeah? I want to come see you. Dara said I should call him. He'll give me the time off. Don't you come here. Why? The doctor says you'll be fine. You'll be out in the hospital a few days. Because I don't want to see you. And I don't want you to call me again. Hey, please, I, I want to come up there. I got to see you. Well, you sure you want to leave just like this? Well, you said I've been discharged. I figure I better not waste any more of your time. That is not me I'm thinking about, Hank. It's your friend. <laughs> Doc, I've been a sitting duck for everybody's good intentions all my life. I got to be alone for a while, work some things out. Well, you better save some room for doctor. You're going to be seeing a lot of them sometime to come. I know. Look, uh, 
Doc, I know I've been a pretty mean patient. Ah, uh, you haven't been mean, Hank. Just haven't been patient. I'll say one thing. It's a miracle you're alive. You must have some good reason for it. Yeah, when I find out what it is, I'll let you know. Thank you. Hey, man, I've drove myself crazy trying to find you. You people just don't give up, do you? JR and your mama came by to help you get discharged, and you already gone. Well, you found me. You can head on back. Tell them I'm fine. I don't need any help. I don't think you've been very considerate, brother. <laughs> well, that's not exactly my top priority right now. Well, what about the band, Hank? They're ready to start picking. Tell them to start picking with somebody else. You know, Becky wanted to come up here with me. Man, I don't know why you're bringing that talk up here. Hey, I'm just trying to help. Merle, it don't help to talk about things that are over and done with. I don't want to talk about music. I don't even want to think about women. Then what do you want, Hank? I want you to get your tail out of here and leave me alone. I mean it, man. It's off limits. Just tell everybody to back off.
told you I didn't want you to come up here. I don't even hear you, Hank Williams. I told you I didn't want to see you. Yeah, and I don't know why. Hanging up on my calls, getting everybody to keep me away from you. What's going on? Not much. Seems to me we got some unfinished business. I think it's pretty well finished. Hank. I can stand to look at you. I can't stand you shutting me out. Please don't be so afraid. What do you think I am? I think you're beautiful. So are you. Please let me stay. Oh. I missed you so much. I'm just a singer, a natural born guitar ringer. Kind of a clinger to sad old song. I'm not a walk behind. I'm a new note finder, but my name's a reminder of a blues man that's already. I started drinking Took things that messed up my thinking I was sure sinking When you came along I was alone in the hot light Not too much left inside but she changed all that in one night When she sang me this song Hey baby, I love you Hey baby, I need you Hey baby, you ain't got to prove to me You're some kind of macho Running through the dark night Letting me shine some love light Down on the blues, man What are you doing? Do you see that? Yeah, I saw that and I'm not impressed Put your boots on, I you'll catch cold I'm sick from speed <laughs> All the stuff they yes, said well, I was Whatever you mean. say, whatever you say. If I was to keep pleasing all of my fame. What are you thinking about? About my life. What I'm gonna do with it. Making plans? I'd like to. You're gonna be there. Oh, I will. Hey, baby, I love you too. Hey, baby, I need you. Come on. Hey, baby, I do get tired of this traveling band. I've been thinking about going back out on the road. I'm 30 years old. Remember what we said about giving things time? Nights would be cold. Yeah, I remember. Now. Well, then we'll make it work. Stuck it out with this blues man. Ladies and gentlemen.
gentlemen, my name is Pearl Kilgore, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce the best friend I ever had and the best country singer you're ever going to hear. Here he is, and remember, we ain't going to call Hank Williams Jr. Jr. anymore. Come on out, Hank. I love you. Get back. 